Hi, I'm Suresh Venkat in conversation with the CEO of Hexaware Technologies, R. Sri Krishna Sri. Welcome. Thank you, Suresh. Right, before we get on to the nuts and bolts of the interview, quick tech check. What gadgets are you carrying on you or do you carry with you all the time? Two Windows phones. Both Windows phones, okay. Well, if I'm in Europe, it happens to be one iPhone, one Windows phone. Okay. That, that's it? That's the sum total of the gadgetry on you? No, I also carry a Windows 8 tablet, okay. Uh, okay. And a hybrid PC laptop, okay. and an iPad. Which the, the theme of this year's NASCOM is the world in 2020. Yeah. So let me ask you a quick question. Tell me three technologies in 2020 that we will take for granted, that we don't have today. That's a tough one. Um, what we take for granted, I think driverless cars could be one of them. Uh, may not take for granted, but I think it'll start permeating. Being a reality. Uh, being a reality, I think we'll see fleets, certainly if not end users that are based on that. Drones could be a reality. Uh, they are today, but I think they will permeate and uh, we may take them for granted. And I think the on a more personal technology level, it could be the you know augmented reality uh, holograms, you know, being able to touch and feel things in unreal things in combination with the real world. Do you think you'll have a robotic colleague by 2020, any one of your colleagues? Robots are already there. I, I don't know about a colleague, but I think robots uh, will permeate uh, in, in a lot of different areas. Uh, I think IT industry is one that will particularly, it's an opportunity for someone like us who's in a uh, growth stage and, and it's a it's a threat for the larger players. What does the Internet of Things mean for you at Hexabay Technology? What kind of a growth driver do you see it becoming in the years to come? Yeah. You know, let me give you an example. Uh, so, so I believe it, it it is something that will change uh, IT. It will change a lot of services. It'll certainly, change IT services. Uh, and let me give you. And we are doing things right now. So it's not futuristic in my view. Let me give you two, three examples. Um, we've already done for large fleet owners route optimization exercises on a more real-time basis um, using a very fundamental sensor that's existed for a while, GPS. It's just that people haven't really used the data in a centralized manner. You know, the driver uses it and that's it. Mm -hmm. um, automotives. Um, we are currently using uh, automotive data, uh, data from sensors to detect driving patterns to help with underwriting. Uh, we are exploring how it could be used in better detection of insurance fraud. Um, there are established use cases for warranty support. You know, machines you can start predicting when they would fail, you know, improve their maintenance cycles. Uh, there's an enormous healthcare is the is the area where it is most staggering uh, the potential use of IoT and wearables um, you know you know India is, is a major diabetic problem right more than one in three uh, more than one in three adults are diabetics just some of them just don't know it yet and just take that one disease state and oftentimes it winds up coexisting with other disease mm -hmm. states and if, if I could uh, as a healthcare provider monitor blood glucometer readings every single day and then you know crosses 140 a day it's okay crosses 142 days I take notice third day I call it say you know please stop eating those sweets or whatever you're doing and go for your walk that can dramatically alter healthcare. I mean, I'm not talking about, uh, you know, how will it benefit the healthcare industry? In fact, it may not, mm -hmm. uh, you know, but we're improving the wellness of the patient. Um, so IoT has huge uh, impact potential in every industry. Let me talk about Hexaware as a company in itself. Mm -hmm. With the revolution in BYOD, bring your own devices, how has your interaction with your employees changed? Yeah. So. It, the enterprises haven't yet started thinking about their employees as consumers. Have you? We are beginning to. Um, you know, that's the first recognition that has to happen because they're all focused on their customers as consumers. 
not recognizing that employees who walk in are also consumers, and especially in our industry, uh, younger employees, you know, I have a 17-year-old and a 13-year-old, two boys, they've never opened a PC, I don't think they ever will. Um, they, they're used to using cloud everything, applications, data, mm -hmm. on whatever device that they can lay their hands on. And you expect that kid, when they show up to the workforce, you give them like a to four be kilo into yeah. an ecosystem, a fixed line ecosystem. Work. And so enterprises have to start thinking about their employees as consumers and find ways, and we actually have a very specific solution right for this. That, you know, think of your phone when you last changed it. If you changed it two years ago, it was an enormous challenge in moving the contacts and all that. Today, you put the SIM on, you sign in to whatever cloud that you belong to, and you're done. You know, in 30 minutes, you're all set up. It knows what games you like, what apps. It knows the scores on your games. It knows every single thing. Now, in an enterprise, it's still that five years ago problem. You know, you want to change the desktop, it's got somebody has to move the data, mm -hmm. somebody has to replicate the settings. It takes an enormous amount of time. So we have a solution which does exactly that cell phone user experience for any device within an enterprise. Follow me data, you know, personalize, 30 seconds, you're onto any device. and. Mm -hmm. We're finding an, finding an enormous amount of uh, interest with our customers. For our employees, we want to go further than that. Uh, we've just started an initiative where we want to digitize our entire employee experience. Uh, one of our core stated three themes is to make Hexaver a great place to work. Uh, and we've, we're doing many things to make that happen. I mean, think of basic stuff, you know, uh, people who work late in the night, they want to get a cab. Today they make a phone call or then go and check with somebody in admin department. There's a list posted somewhere, and, you know, we'll be all at the click of a button on a cell phone tomorrow. Um, so, so we we have more ambitious plans than that BOIOD, that particular one, uh, for our employee experience. Right, Sri, my uh, final question to you once again concerning Hexaware and its uh, and its future. What will Smack do to the enterprise? Clearly, it's going to change how they interact with their customers. At the most fundamental level, that's what it will do. Uh, how customers buy, how customers uh, consume, uh, how they interact with customers post-purchase, post-consumption, all of that will change at the, at the most fundamental level. The specifics of it is going to vary quite dramatically by industry. Uh, that's what Smack will do. From our perspective, um, we think while the promise is great, the most important foundational steps is in data. And if you think about Hexaware, one of our strongest areas is in data. And we're very focused on helping customers transform their data and get it ready for the digital world. And we think data is the most important bridge from the legacies to uh, the digital so world. the big play is going to be in data and yes. in analytics. Yeah. R.C. Krishna of Hexaware, thank you for talking to us. Thank you so much.